Hello everyone, I'm Colin and I'm eating a breakfast sandwich in my car. I'm doing that for two reasons. Uh, first of all, I, I picked this up on the way to the library and you can't bring food in there. I can bring my coffee though, um, which by the way, I've been sleeping on the Wendy's Frosty Chino. It's amazing. Well, it's it's a it's a it's a coffee milkshake so duh anyway the second reason i'm eating this is because i'm trying to get all my carbs in <laughs> today and tomorrow because um today's saturday and on monday i'm going to try doing a week of the keto diet i realize a week isn't a very long period of time and probably not enough to see the like purported effects of keto, but I feel like it's a respectable period of time just for me to see if I am able to do it. Because like for me, I'm not really doing it for the all the effects that it's supposed to have. I'm not even really doing it for weight loss. It's mostly because lately and for most of my life, I felt kind of insane with sugar. Obviously not stuff like fruit, that's fine, but I mean like, you know, processed refined sugar, junk food. Like you can get those trays of brownies from Kroger that are like frosted in the bakery section. I ate like half of one of those in a couple days, and within the same period of a couple days also ate most of a box of like generic tagalongs. And because I'm calorie counting, I can kind of rationalize it in my brain like, oh I'll just eat less of other things, and like, I I shouldn't be doing that, that's that's not healthy, and like, I don't do that every day, but I, I, I have done it quite a bit recently. And yeah, obviously I could just like, not buy that kind of stuff. But I think for me, it'll be easier to, to rationalize in my brain, can't eat that specifically because I'm doing keto. Like even walking around the grocery store when I was, when I was shopping yesterday for my week, I was like, seeing all my usual temptations and being like, nope, can't do that, doing keto, and it just like, it felt a lot easier to just be able to say that to myself. So that was my main goal. Now, I did say my, my main goal wasn't to lose any more weight. Um, if you're new here, um, I've lost about 60 pounds in uh, the past couple years just by using a calorie counting app and, and weighing and measuring everything. And it's it's been pretty consistent. Uh, I've been maintaining for the past couple months. Um, uh, I'm at like a totally normal healthy weight. Um, I'm at the kind of higher end of um, normal healthy BMI, so like I could I could afford to lose a little bit more. I am still a little bit chubby, um, mostly around the middle. I think most people, <laughs> I think most people keep a little bit of weight there, even you know even at a healthy weight. Obviously, I I need to be working out more too, but. Um, I could lose another five pounds and I, I think I'd be happy. Um, and I think that's actually going to be very easy doing keto because I planned out Monday in my app and I was like struggling to even hit like 1500 calories, which is like the minimum for, for me as a, as a short little person. So I will be tracking that as well, see if I lose any weight. I mean, I can't see myself losing more than like maybe a pound, um, just doing it for a week. Um, but if I do it for longer, I'll, I'll track that too. So like right now, as of this morning, I weighed uh, 136, which is pretty normal for me. Um, usually anywhere between, you know, upper 135 point something to like 138, you know, just due to daily fluctuations. Usually anywhere between there is normal for me. Um, I am five foot three, so that's that's fine. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if anything happens there. I'm mostly just concerned about the sugar cravings because. I, you know, when, when I said I feel a little insane about sugar, I, I was not exaggerating. I have been known to, um, if I don't have anything sugary in the house, eat um, like chocolate chips, plain chocolate chips, um, which is not like totally abnormal. Um, I have also just drunk chocolate syrup. I have drunk uh, coffee creamer. Um, it's it's weird and and it makes me feel a little bit crazy. Um, I I don't know. I might go as far as to say I'm addicted to sugar. So that's something. I don't know. It's kind of weird to say it like that because I don't know. Feels feels icky. Feels icky. That's my main thing. Is like I don't think there's anything wrong with anything in moderation. And like. Um, I, I don't really have that much of an addictive personality, like, I don't even drink, I've never done a drug, um, but sugar, sugar is my thing, and like, I do go overboard more often than I would like to admit, so that is why 
I'm eating a freaking junk breakfast sandwich and a huge ass chocolate frosty coffee. Really good though. But yeah, figured I'd go out with a bang. I hate like, I ate rice and potatoes and I'm having um, leftover pizza later. I'm <laughs> I think the hardest thing is actually gonna be the potatoes because I eat potatoes almost every day. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Also, I don't know how people film in public. I'm so anxious right now. <laughs> There's so many people like walking around and driving by because it's Saturday at the library. So anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this and I'm gonna go to the library. And um, I will try to remember to update you with all the things that I eat. I'll probably just film what I'm eating every day, just a little clip and then how I'm feeling. So yeah, a little bit different video for me. I'm not used to doing like a um, long form week long kind of thing I have to keep track of. But I also kind of like it because it's like doing a scientific experiment on myself. And while well, I really enjoyed doing that with the calorie counting, I was like, it's just math. So <laughs> I am kind of excited to do this. Wait, this sandwich isn't just how I like it. I don't know. I've, I've been told I'm just jealous of glitter and lasers. So I thought I'd try to cry over breakfast food and see how she lives. I think I'm good. Hello folks. Well, it is it is so early. I'm getting ready for work and um, I packed my lunch my for my first keto meal. So I figured I would just show you what I'm eating for my, my very first meal. So for breakfast, I'm probably just gonna have some cottage cheese. I've got some Colby Jack cheese slices, some mixed nuts. Um, an avocado and some uh, hard-boiled eggs just with salt and some tuna. I'm also going to have some coffee. I'm just going to put a little milk in it and maybe a little fake sweetener. I usually hate fake sweeteners, so <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Well, this is harder than I thought because uh, today I'm for dinner I'm making chicken and uh, zucchini and tomatoes. And obviously gonna use a lot of olive oil, try to get all the fat in. And I have some mozzarella cheese for the top, but it's part skim, that's not helping me. Um, two grams of carbs and only six grams of fat for a fourth of a cup. Um, I'll probably uh, just post um, my macros for the day, um, I don't think I'm going to get to my total um, recommended fat for today. Um, I think my macros are like 80 something, almost 90 grams of protein, and then 20 grams of carbs, and then like 130 or 140 grams of fat, which is like, that's the hard part. Like I've already exceeded my protein goal for today and I think that's fine. I think if I go over the protein goal, I'm not that stressed about it. Um, carbs, I'm around around like 20, 21, 22. I'm not like, I'm not gonna be like crazy strict about it. As long as I'm like under 30, I think I'm gonna call it good enough. Um, especially because um, I think whenever I calculated out my macros, I think it put me in a calorie deficit and I don't necessarily need that. But I think realistically for me, it's going to be hard for me to not be in a calorie deficit while I do this. Just because like, I'm struggling, man. I am gonna make some fat bombs. It's like a thing apparently that you do in keto. And it gives me a good chance to use this. It's my little flamingo um, silicone ice tray. So I'm gonna make some fat bombs with coconut oil and like cocoa powder and stuff. And those still have a little bit of carbs in them. So even if I make some and have some tonight, I'm gonna be over my carb limit, ugh. And like, I, I'm i starting to make myself like nuts because I think that's the closest thing I'm able to have that like semi resembles dessert food, which I am firmly against nuts and dessert, let that be known. But you know what I'm saying? I've had like a serving and a half, like an ounce and a half of nuts, which is, pretty good for my fat goals. I've had a whole avocado. Um, I had two eggs. Like I, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Okay. Um, so I don't know, I guess I'm just going to use a lot of, uh, olive oil 
in my dinner and I'll show you what that looks like. I think the oven is preheated now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. Huh, <sighs> I'm struggling, I'm struggling. And I'm also, you know, right around this time of day, I want a little sweet treat and I can't have one. And I'm real sad about it, <laughs> but I'm actually not doing half bad today. I was like really satisfied with my lunch and um, I bet I um, probably will be from dinner too. Ooh, so here's my dinner. Isn't she beautiful? You can say no, it's okay. But yeah, um, it's just a couple of chicken breasts. It's gonna be two meals actually. Um, two chicken breasts and then um, four slices of bacon, like cut into cut in half. And some, uh, some cherry tomatoes, some zucchini, and then obviously olive oil and um, mozzarella cheese on top and like season the crap out of it. So yeah, just kind of a little impromptu meal to get rid of some of the groceries I have and also trying desperately to meet my macro goals. And as you can see, I did not hit my goals today. A little too high protein, a little too low fat, um, but I plan tomorrow and tomorrow is gonna be like perfect. So yeah, learning curve, not too stressed about it. Hello, it's day two, Tuesday. Here's my food. I got some nuts. I got some more Kobe Jack cheese. I got some salami, an egg, an avocado, and this is actually some blue cheese. A little charcuterie board experience. And I'm gonna have a little milk in my coffee. I'm back again. Um, it is still Tuesday, day two. And I just wanted to give you like a little update on um, how I'm feeling. Um, pretty good so far. I haven't really noticed any difference. Um, I did actually notice yesterday, uh, I think my calories were somewhere around like 1600, but I was like full after dinner, which is like not entirely typical. Also, sorry, I'm like, I'm like sweating. Oh my God. Uh, the AC broke in my office and it's like 90 degrees outside. So it was almost 80 degrees inside. And oh my God, I'm just still hot from, from being in there and then walking outside. And I'm also making it hotter because I got the oven on. I'm about to have dinner. Um, I'm just eating the same thing I ate yesterday. So I anticipate I will likely feel relatively the same today as far as like level of fullness. Um, but also I went to World Market yesterday and I got, I got me some sardines in Spanish olive oil. And I have had these before. Um, they're really good. Actually, that was the first time I tried sardines was those fancy ones. And, uh, I was not disappointed. It's, it's, it's all because of Darlene. Darlene Michaud. I discovered her because of, because of uh, the Zachary Michael also, who has done plenty of reactions to her and she did this thing called like the sardine challenge where she just only ate sardines and I had never had them before and so I was like I'm gonna try sardines and surprisingly liked them which is a good thing because I think I'm gonna be eating a lot of I think I'm gonna be eating a lot of sardines while I'm doing this so I get to leave I get to live my Darlene the Sardine Queen fantasy over here. I feel good I feel great I never burped up sardines so yeah, I'll probably have those as like a snack later if I'm still hungry. And also, uh, last night I made my um, coconut fat bombs and uh, I think they turned out okay. Um, I'll probably have, I had one last night just to try. They're really little. Hang on, I'll show you what they look like. Ain't that cute? They're flamingos. You probably can't quite tell. They're flamingos. I never get to use this thing. But yeah, um, so these are pretty little. I need to weigh them just so I can accurately get my macros and stuff. But um, yeah, they're, they're not bad. I'm gonna throw these back in the freezer. Now, there are like a million recipes for coconut oil fat bombs on the internet. I just found one that was pretty simple and mostly just had ingredients that I already had on hand. Uh, so I had, um, I already had coconut oil and I already had um, cocoa powder. And I had gotten a bag of, of artificial sweetener. And then it just has like a splash of vanilla and like a little bit of salt. And I think that's about it. You just put in the food processor and then uh, my AC just kicked on. You put in the food processor, pour it in your mold, freeze it. 
and that's it. And they are fine. They're fine. They're they're okay if you have a sweet craving, but they're not that sweet. And like, you will be aware that you're just eating a block of coconut oil. Like, you're just gonna be aware of that. But honestly, like, my cravings haven't been that bad. I feel like I would normally feel kind of insane by now. Um, I don't know if that's just because, again, like, that mentality that, like, I'm doing keto, so it's like, I'm more thinking, my, my brain is busier calculating my macros and thinking about meal planning and whatnot to, like, worry about it. So I guess we'll see as I start getting into the swing of things if, if these sweet cravings you know, come back in full force. As far as today, I might have a couple of those little coconut oil things. And then like I said, after dinner, I can also have a can of sardines. And um, I think I'm pretty much almost exactly hitting my goals for today. So that's kind of exciting because I, I didn't quite get there yesterday. Um, and I will put my macros up and show you what it's all about. Y'all, I just realized that it is 11 p.m. and I never ate those sardines. And you know what I am not really feeling? 11 p.m. sardines. But I, I kind of have to if I want to meet my macro goals, so I, I guess I guess I'm gonna do that. Huh, I just, I really don't want this to make me dislike sardines, you know? When you're not in the mood for sardines, it just feels like the worst thing to eat, so. Huh. <sighs> I'm gonna do it for you, Darlene. I'm gonna do it for the sardine queen. Yeah, I was just being a baby. Cause these shits are so good. Initially, the first time I got these, I and I was planning on sharing them with my hermit crabs. But then I found out that they can't have them because of all the salt. So I was like, oh, I'll just try them myself. I and mean, they're pretty good. Um, this kind does have the bones in them, but they're so small. They're barely noticeable. I will say, I have another box, um, another, another can, and I have done this before where you um, actually cook them, don't just eat them straight out the can, but actually cook them with like, um, I used spaghetti squash and like other chopped veggies. I might need to get me a spaghetti squash. It might, might be a good dinner. Good morning. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Uh, day three of my little keto adventure. And I'm working from home today, so um, that's nice, but also um, kind of dangerous because <laughs> I, I went to Cracker Barrel on Sunday as kind of my, you know, my carb-filled send-off, if you will. And I have leftover Cracker Barrel biscuits in the fridge. And uh, oh, those are not gonna be good in a week, are they? They're probably not. I put them in, in like an airtight container, so we'll see. But um, I also realized when I was going through my fridge yesterday that I have a whole mango in there and it's probably like perfectly ripe. And I am oh, so sad because mango is like my favorite thing in the world. So maybe I'll freeze it. Maybe I'll freeze it. But that would also require me to like cut it up first. And I can't guarantee that if I cut up a mango that I won't just absolutely destroy it. And by that, I mean like devour the whole thing. So. Okay, so here's my uh, breakfast. I almost said lunch. Honestly, it's kind of brunch. It's like 11 a.m. Uh, but yeah, I fried some bacon and then I have uh, two scrambled eggs with cheese. And while I'm here, let's talk about macros, shall we? Tell me why the Google says, <laughs> when you're doing keto, try not to get too much protein, focus more on the fat. But the the keto Reddit is like, it says the opposite. Don't worry too much about the fat, focus more on the protein. And I mean, both agree that the, the basic idea is keeping the carbs low, but like, they're saying the opposite things. Look, feel free to argue amongst yourselves in the comments. I know you will. I'm just going to do my best. I think realistically for me, it's going to be easier for me to focus more on protein. But I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to try to like get near my goals for the day. And I'm and my main goal is just 
staying under carb limit. And, and we're just gonna call it a day. I am in the Garden of Eden, but actually I, I'm, I can have a little piece and I think that'll be fine. It's only like a couple grams of carbs for a little bit. So I will at least have a bite before I freeze it. <laughs> So here's my like snack slash lunch, whatever. And it's some uh, pepper beef jerky and mixed nuts and some blackberries. Very excited for the blackberries. Also look how fuck huge they are. That's crazy. Hello, so here's dinner. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a lid small enough for this particular pan. So that's what we're working with. I'm gonna make kind of like a um, burrito bowl inspired type of thing. Um, a white people burrito bowl, let's not get it twisted. I've got some like sliced mini peppers. I am gonna eat them raw just cause I, I like the crunch and it's a really good flavor uh, regardless. And then I've got half of a big ass avocado. And um, oh, I should also mention, I had some coffee. I only put a little bit of milk in it. Uh, honestly, that's the thing I'm missing the most because a couple times a week, usually, I get like a fancy coffee, like a latte or something out, and I like sit and I crochet and I have a good time. And I don't think it's worth it to try to get something keto friendly, like monetarily, but I am gonna miss sitting in the cafe a couple times this week. Ooh, okay, yeah, she's looking pretty good. Um, added some cheese. And um, I typically use a plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Also got some, some lime juice and cilantro up in there. Hello, it's Thursday, day four, and I'm having bacon and scrambled eggs again. Um, I threw a little spinach in there this time. Um, a little cheese as per usual. I think I'll be doing pretty good today. I already planned out my day, so you'll just you'll just be seeing that as I do it, as usual. My feelings today are that I am fantasizing about the mango in the freezer and those uh, those Cracker Barrel biscuits that I pray will still be good by Monday. <sighs> Probably not, but we'll see. So that pretty much solidifies for me. I don't think I could do this long term. Uh, because like, I, I started doing this because I wanted to stop eating so much like processed sugar, desserts, and I'm dreaming about mango. So it also doesn't help that I just randomly decided to do this during my favorite produce season. Why did I do that? That's how I'm doing. See you later. For lunch, I'm having my, my leftovers from yesterday. So I made like another burrito bowl type of situation. Hello, hello, here's my dinner. I've got a pork sausage that actually has cheese in it, that's fun. And some Brussels sprouts, which are covered in olive oil and seasoned, of course. Kind of a small dinner, but I had a pretty big lunch, so I think I'll be all right. I also had some coffee earlier and I, I did have enough carbs left in my day to have one singular tablespoon of coffee creamer, which I I have this habit of making extremely strong coffee, so I really didn't even taste it. So I guess my I, I learned my lesson there, huh? Left myself enough carbs for some blackberries as a late night snack, and that'll be it for today, and I will show you my macros. Hello, uh, so it's still Thursday night. Well, well, it's after midnight, so technically it's Friday, but I'm prepping my breakfast and lunch for tomorrow uh, when I'm at work. I got some cottage cheese. I've got some mixed nuts. I got a hard boiled egg, uh, salami and Colby Jack cheese. And of course I will be having coffee with just a little bit of milk. Hello again. Well, uh, here's my dinner and you can see it's hot off the grill. Um, I have a, I have a George Foreman grill. So that's, that's what I did with all this. Um, I got a chicken breast with, um, mushrooms and bacon and provolone cheese on top. And I've got broccoli and I cooked them all on the grill. I, I did just kind of, 
uh, brush some olive oil on it, so hopefully I, I can get some more fat in today. But um, yeah, smells pretty good. Um, so as far as how I'm feeling, uh, pretty good actually. Um, it's weird, uh, I, I had a, a few blackberries last night as kind of like my late night snack and I felt like totally satisfied with that as like my dessert for the day, which is not something I think I ever would have said before in my life. Like I've heard of people eating fruit as dessert and that has always struck me as just insanity. Like, what do you mean? Uh, so that's cool. Um, I don't think I can attribute that to keto 100% because I think I would have to attribute that to, to just me cutting processed sugar out of my diet for several days. Um, with, I mean, with the exception of the little, the little fat bombs. I've had a few of those. I'm not sure if I filmed them um, every time because I would just eat one out, out the freezer, just pop one um, here and there. I haven't eaten very many. I, I think I've only eaten like half of them because <laughs> if I'm being real with you, I just don't like them that much. And in comparison with fruit, I'd rather have the fruit sugar. Thank you very much. Uh, fake sugar is nasty. I don't want to eat a ball of coconut oil. I just don't. I just don't. I'd rather, I'd rather not meet my fat goals and not have anything resembling sugar. Yeah, I'd just rather not have them. So I think um, I'm just gonna have to focus more on trying to get as much fat as I can, but, but I'm probably not gonna hit my goals for most days. I think I'm a little under my, my like fat goal for today. Um, I'm honestly really under calories today too. I'm probably gonna eat something later. I'm not really sure what yet. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I was still hungry, and then I realized I had like 260 something calories left in my day, so that's probably why. So I am grilling uh, one of those cheese sausages that I had yesterday, and that'll put me pretty close to my goals. Um, I do plan to have some blackberries later. I, I really wanna eat them before they go bad, and you know, I like a little, I like a little sweet treat at the end of the day. Um, that'll put me slightly over my carb limit and I will put my macros up here. And as you can see, pretty close, just a little over the carbs. I think that's okay. Good morning, it is Saturday and here's my breakfast. Kind of a brunch actually, it's a late one. It's about 11 a.m. I got two fried eggs with cheese and some bacon. I realize I've been eating a lot of like processed meats. I, I don't normally, but it's just making it a little easier to get all the all the protein and fat in. Um, uh, that being said, uh, plan to be out for a little while today, so I've got some peppered beef jerky and a little thing of mixed nuts, uh, just as some snacks since I will be out and probably not home for lunch. So I got home and had two, count them, two blackberries. Um, and then this is my little snack I'm about to have now. Uh, half an avocado, some salami, and a little bit of blue cheese, which normally I would put on a cracker, but <laughs> here we are. Oh, I also had one of those fat bombs when I got home, just because I have them and I need to get rid of them, but um, I don't really like them, so... Not really sure what to do with the like six I have left because once this is over, I am not probably gonna wanna eat them. Anyway, yeah, so my feelings are uh, right now, I am so glad tomorrow is the last day of this. I will not be doing it anymore. Um, and honestly, it's not even the sugar cravings at this point. It's just like, I miss carbs in general, like a potato a piece of bread, a cracker, some rice, all of those things, and a fruit. Oh my god, I miss fruit so much. The very first thing I'm gonna eat when I'm done with all of this on Monday is mango. That mango I've got in my freezer, number one thing I'm gonna want. Anyway, I will say I do think this was a net positive. Um, 
it, it's only, again, it's been, today's the sixth day. Um, I, I don't think that's long enough to experience any of the effects I've heard of. Um, I've heard keto flu is a thing. I have not experienced that. I've heard, um, getting more energy is a thing. I have not experienced that. I was just sitting on the couch and about to fall asleep at 4.40 in the afternoon. So, my air just kicked off. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, six days is not long enough to experience that, I don't think. Um, but I did weigh myself this morning and I was uh, 134 on the dot, which is, I think, the lowest I've weighed since I started my whole weight loss journey, whatever, um, almost two years ago. So that's cool. Um, the calorie def I am in a calorie deficit, but not like a lot of a calorie deficit. I'm like maybe a couple hundred calories below my maintenance and six days is not really long enough to, to lose two pounds, um, two plus pounds. So I'm thinking that's probably just water weight. And the fact that I've been not eating hardly any carbs is probably the reason for that. Or just a regular old fluctuation, although that, again, is the lowest I've weighed, so I have a feeling it's just the water weight. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm not doing too bad, just craving, <laughs> craving that frickin' mango. <sighs> Hello, so here's my dinner. It is a uh, chicken breast, um, baked in the oven with some Brussels sprouts, um, Italian seasoning, and some mozzarella cheese on top. Last day of keto, let's go. Yes, I, I cut my hair. The editors hate when I do that. It's terrible for the continuity. Uh, you may you may hear my coffee brewing in the background. <laughs> it is almost one o'clock and I got busy doing other stuff this morning, so I haven't eaten anything yet. Yikes. So um, I'll show you what I'm having in a second, but um, as far as I'm feeling today, coffee's done. Uh, as far as how I'm feeling today, I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> I don't think I could do this long term. Um, I think I have learned a lot and I'll probably talk more about that later. Um, but I am glad today is the last day. Yes, I'm still on the processed meat brigade, but I'm a singular person, a bachelor, if you will, and I'm trying to eat things before they go bad. <laughs> so I had one slice of bacon left cut in half. I'm having a, uh, cheddar sausage and two fried eggs with cheese and whenever I have my coffee I might try to put some of that fake sweetener in it we'll see hello so I guess this is like second lunch since I waited really long to eat breakfast uh, first of all I put uh, fake sweetener uh, in my coffee Kroger brand sucralose, if you're curious, and zero out of 10, do not like it. I don't understand how anyone enjoys it, to be honest. I, I'm still gonna drink it though, because I don't like to waste things. Maybe it's because I grew up drinking like full sugar sodas. I, I never had diet soda. My, my mom thought it was bad for you. Arguably, I mean, they're both bad for you, but whatever. Anyway, didn't didn't grow up drinking diet sodas or anything, so that's probably why I don't like the taste. Uh, ironic, though, because uh, I'm about to have <laughs> sugar-free pickles that are flavored with sucralose, but for some reason I've never had a problem with those. But anyway, this is like lunch part two, I guess. Um, I got a half an avocado, the pickles, um, some ham, and Colby Jack cheese. And it's like four something right now, PM. So I guess it's just uh, gonna hold me over till dinner and maybe I'll just have a late dinner. Well, here it is folks, my final keto meal. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a creature of habit, so I made another chicken breast and some broccoli. Although this time, different seasonings. Uh, I did uh, lemon pepper, and rosemary, thyme, stuff like that. And oh, I, I think I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese on top too. Ooh, here's the cheese. And oh, almost forgot to put my macros for my last day.
Okay, so uh, while I'm letting that cool off a little bit, I figured I'd give kind of my my final conclusions from this experiment. Number one, obviously a week is probably not enough time to see the positives or the negatives that are associated with keto. I fully accept any criticism that comes with that. But for me, my main goal was to stop being so crazy about sugar, processed sugar, and I I can honestly say I do feel a lot better. And you know, again, I can't attribute that 100% to keto, but like having the framework of keto, like keeping myself in line that way, I think was really helpful. Something else I learned, um, I, I plan to keep calorie counting pretty much forever, I guess, just, just to maintain, just to keep track of what's going on because I, I don't trust my own judgment, you know what I mean? Um, and, and what all this has taught me is that like, hey buddy, <laughs> if you didn't save as many calories as possible for, for your junk food that you feel like you need, uh, maybe you could have tastier food with more oil and stuff like that. What a concept. Also, I, I think I like nuts now which is weird. I, I have disliked most nuts for my entire life. I, I only very recently started to kind of like peanuts and be okay with cashews, but I was basically living on nuts for the past seven days, and I think I kind of like them now. Still firmly anti-nut in dessert though. Gross. No thank you. And I, I, I guess another thing I learned is just like another like management technique for my for my sweet cravings is maybe instead of what I would usually do, which is have a fruit at lunch, save it for the end of the day and actually have fruit for dessert. I, I, I think that would be really helpful for me because like I said, everything in moderation is fine, but I think when you're like me and you, and you struggle with moderation uh, for certain things, I think that would be a useful technique. Lastly, I think the most important thing I learned was that I cannot tolerate uh, unsweetened coffee. I can't do it. I, I simply can't. Very rarely I will, I will have milk and coffee and nothing else and be satisfied with that, but 99% of the time, I'm gonna want a little creamer, okay? I know there are people who are like, oh, people who don't like black coffee just don't like coffee. And to that I say, I like cookies, but I'm not here eating a handful of raw flour, you know? Just unnecessarily aggressive. No one has even said that to me, <laughs> but someone will. I almost guarantee it. Anyway, um, if anything, I don't believe in the concept of a detox, okay? Because there are no toxins going on. But I, I do kind of feel like this has been a little bit of a reset of my palate, if you will. Um, I, I don't feel the sweet cravings as, as much as I did before. Um, I don't even have any fruit left for this evening, and I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm all right. Isn't that weird? Well, I, I hope you enjoyed my little week-long keto adventure. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Did I do it wrong? Should I be roasted for my attempt? Uh, Will you argue that maybe if I wanted to experience any effects, I should have done it for longer than a week? Roast me. It's fine. I can take it. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm very sensitive. I'm kidding. Just say whatever you want. Um, all right. Well, thank you for joining me, and I will see you soon. Of course, now my AC kicks off. <laughs> Bye.